Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy King Sprint. I want to apologize for the old gameplay, but there's, you know, a topic that I want to talk about this video. But first, two things I have to mention. Well, I want to mention, I should say. One, um, season three got extended, which means, yep. Second thing I'm going to have to, you know, bring up is season four got delayed, which means, yeah. Yeah, pretty much we're gonna have to play more of season three until they're ready to, you know, give us season four. But that's not what I want to talk about. What I wanted to discuss is Raider Q. Now, Raider Q got introduced fairly quickly into the game. I would like to say season two, and then it wasn't even in the game long enough, and then got removed pretty much. So there goes, you know, Raider Q, which means. The way you get Raider is back to how it, you know, was when the game came out. You basically build priority and how priority works is the higher your priority, the more likely you are to get Raider. And, you know, the lower priority, the lower your priority, the less likely you are to get Raider. Now, the thing with priority is you can have low priority and still get Raider. You can have high priority and still not get Raider. It honestly, you know... It, it depends. Anyways, my thing is with Raider Q, yeah, sure, it took 10 minutes, give or take, but the average breakers match is normally longer than that because, say, if you say minus rare instances where you know you're level zero and then you just manage to get Raider. The reason I say that is because that's happened to me before, which, yeah, like I said, it's a rare case because it's not consistent. I'm hoping that they bring back Raider Q because with Raider Q it made things convenient especially for those that were just straight up grinding Raider and didn't even want to you know play Survivor because the thing with you know playing Survivor and building a priority is it, it honestly depends on you know RNG at this point you have to hope that you either have the priority meaning high priority or luck because you can have low priority and still get raider but the thing but the thing is you still have to play matches compared to like i said if you take the hypothetical of um oh wait no i didn't say this but if say there's a hypothetical you play three breakers matches right all right so you have priority three and then you don't get raider that means you have to spend another 10 minutes playing playing breakers trying to get raider and in total that's 40 minutes now say that time you spent building up priority you that's 30 minutes right on uh, let's just say the average is 10. now the average wait time for raider q is 10 minutes so you can spend one breakers match waiting to you know yeah you basically spend one breakers match trying to get raider compared to playing however many you needed to build up priority or get lucky and then you know you end up getting raider which isn't guaranteed like it is with raider q because it, it honestly all depends <sighs> i just really want raider q to come back because i, I don't know i don't know if, if they start season four without raider q it won't be a good look on their part because They've been saying they're gonna, you know, work on Raider Q, and they're working on it, but I don't think we've had any updates. I could be wrong. Now, I'm, I'm curious. Can y'all let me know how you guys feel about this? I mean, I wouldn't say I'm upset. I'm more disappointed because it's like, I, I want the reason why i even want the raider q to come back is because not only is it convenient but it makes grinding raider easier because i could just you know or other people can just pick raider because if you guys don't know i got majin Buu at 87 i'm trying to get him up to 100 before i even go up, you know work on any other raider of course but yeah that, that's just me 
And with Majin Buu, depending on your luck, it can either go really well or really awful. The reason I say that is because, well, um, Spopovich, he, people, let, let's just say people like to blitz him whenever they get, whenever they get Dragon Change. And I don't even blame them. I really don't. But yeah, I'm not going to drag this video any longer. Let me, let me know what you guys overall think, because I'm curious. And before I forget, I do want to keep on repeating myself. Thank you again for helping me, you know, get to 600. We're going to keep on going. But for now, you know, I'll catch you guys later. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a breaker stream. But in the meantime, peace, everyone.